Hey everyone, so I want to put out a quick word of caution today and it's something I feel really passionate about and something I see going on and it's causing a lot of problems and it's in the realm of weight loss, eating disorders, and fitness coaches. But I first must say that the way that Wonder Woman feels so strongly upset and passionate about war and people killing each other and hurting themselves and she wants to spread a message of love is exactly how strongly and passionate and upset I feel about people's health and people's happiness. And I want to spread a message of natural and holistic health and nutrition and exercise and personal development. So that is where I'm coming from. But there are fitness coaches out there who are sharing a message of positivity, healthy eating, exercise. These are all fantastic things. And we need more people like this to share this positive message. But if you have a health condition or a serious health issue, or more specifically, the topic today is an eating disorder, you need to work with a licensed healthcare professional and or a nutritionist. Because a lot of these fitness coaches are very inexperienced and unqualified to be dealing with your health issues and more specifically an eating disorder. And if they are promoting a weight loss type of program, when you have an eating disorder, weight loss should not be your goal. It should not be anywhere here. Like it should not be even in front of you. Helping yourself and healing yourself and dealing with the issue is what needs to be dealt with first. So do not leave your health, your physical health, your mental health, your nutrition and health education in the hands of people who are not qualified to be helping you. Please understand this. So if you like if your eating disorder, say specifically like a binge eating disorder is mostly psychological or it's physiological or it's both and it's typically both weight loss should not be you shouldn't even deal with that because when you are restricting calories and you do have to restrict calories to lose weight whether you consciously do it or not weight loss is the result of a caloric deficit so physiologically if you restrict your body wants to maintain homeostasis and will push you and drive you to binge eat. So physiologically, uh, that is what happens. It's just a part of the balance of, of your body, right? It's how your body wants to maintain its weight. If you haven't dealt with the emotional issues around it and the subconscious and the psychological issues around it and it's a habit for you, like I said, weight loss should not be your focus. So this is why I, as a licensed healthcare professional, help people with their more serious health conditions and even on a deeper and holistic level. And as a nutritionist, this is why I offer two types of coaching. I have one specific to weight loss and body transformations and one that is specific to helping people bring awareness to their nutrition, to deal with emotional eating, to work on the mindset, to create healthy new habits one step at a time. Because over my years of experience, I would say that almost like 75% of the time, people need to deal with their, their emotional eating and their mindset around food and changing lifestyle habits before they can even touch dealing with like a specific weight loss program. You know, changing habits will probably result in weight loss, but dealing with these deeper issues first is probably your best bet. So if somebody, if some fitness coach is trying to teach you about nutrition um, and they're providing you inaccurate information or they're saying, you know, if you binge eat, you know, do my weight loss program, like, please don't. Please do not. Please do your research and please work with a licensed healthcare professional and or a nutritionist to deal with these issues first. Okay, so please keep that in mind. That is my word of caution. That is me bringing awareness to the situation. Thank you for watching.